Oh, breaking news. Breaking news. The Padres have placed Will Myers on the 10-day injured list. Breaking news from the Padres. Will Myers, 10-day IL, retroactive to June 1st with knee inflammation. In a corresponding move, the Padres have recalled outfielder Brent Rooker from AAA El Paso. All right, so two new Padres outfielders, Brent Rooker and Nomar Mazzara, in the last couple days. So, all right, so the Padres have gotten a young power bat on their roster, on the Major League roster. Will Myers on the 10-day injured list. So I would expect Nomar Mazzara to play the rest of this Milwaukee series and Brent Rooker be available off the bench as a bat. And maybe he DHs one of these games in this series on Saturday or Sunday with Luke Voigt just being a bench bat. But with Brent Rooker, so I mean with Will Myers, right? Will Myers dealing with that knee injury retroactive to June 1st. Not really a surprise that he was put on the injured list because, quite frankly, I think the Padres are pretty confident that Mazzara can hold, you know, hold water uh, while Myers is done. I think they're more confident in him than they were in Trace Thompson. And then with Brent Rooker, he did have an injury in the minor leagues this year. But he has been back. And so far this year, in 26 games with El Paso, he's hitting 242. He has a 357 on base percentage and a 568 slugging percentage. His OPS is 926. He's got 13 extra base hits, four doubles, nine home runs. He's driven in 23 runs. He struck out. Much more than he's walked, but he seems like a, you know, the typical power hitter. So Brent Rooker being called up. Let me know in the chat your reaction to this breaking news. Will Myers on the injured list, 10-day IL. Brent Rooker has been called up to the big league roster. Yes, Sky, Brent Rooker is coming, yep. So right now with this outfield, this outfield construction, I mean, so you got Profar as the left fielder, Grisham as the center fielder, Mazar as the right fielder, Azokar filling in in center field sometimes. I would think that it's Rooker and Mazara as the right fielders right now. Because I the Padres like Profar right now in that leadoff spot. And with Rooker... I don't know if they have the minor league splits of the amount of games that he's played in right field this year. But getting back to Will, I mean, it's not a surprise that Will Myers is on the I.L. Uh, when you don't play in back-to-back -back games, they have Nomar Mazzara start, call him up, uh, because of Cano being gone. And then they don't bring, Maz they don't bring Myers in, they bring Azokar in behind Mazzara last night, you kind of probably knew that something was wrong. And then Myers wasn't in the lineup when I saw it today. Um, you figured something was up. like, Because now you're, you're facing, what, three or four days without playing? And so it's like, okay, might as well put him on the IL. Like, okay, so he's going to miss five more days, six more days. Okay. Bring up Brent Rooker, see what he has. And, and then if Rooker plays well, you can say, all right, Will, uh, take your time. Go on a rehab assignment. Make sure this knee is fine. We don't need you getting hurt again. Kevin Acey is saying on Twitter right now, Will Myers placed on the 10 day right knee inflammation. He has been less optimistic about his knee than Bob Melvin. Just hasn't responded to treatment and the injection. Brent Rooker being recalled from AAA. So Will Myers, what I like about Will through pretty much his entire time with the Padres is 
he has been pretty dang honest with the media. Uh, when he sucked, he said he sucked. When he was put as the leader of the team in 2016 or whenever, he he admitted, I think it might have been the year before or year after that, but he still admitted, I'm not that leader. I, I, I just am better as someone in the background, just a player on the team. So he's been honest. And he was honest earlier this year with Bob about Bob Melvin, right? And how it, it does make a difference how the manager is not in the clubhouse with the players, right? Um, and he he allows the players to be themselves in the in there, and he's not talking to players a lot in the office. It's on the field, right? And he didn't feel like that was really the case with former managers. Um, so he's just. He's an honest guy, and so when he's being less optimistic about an injury, you know that, okay, this injury is probably not great. Um, how long is he going to be sidelined? Who knows? If Brent Rooker plays well, probably for a little bit longer, just so he's fine. They make sure that he's fine. Um, I mean... It's not like it's like Manny Machado with this injury, right? Where, okay, maybe you should rush him back. Manny, like, you know, he, he plays through injury. Maybe you should put him, you know, in. Will Myers, what has he done? You know, he hasn't been spectacular this season, I don't think. So I think if we're, this is a big opportunity for Mazzara, right? He's the starting right fielder now. And then for Rook to be, uh, you know, the backup right fielder or DH at bats play well and you'll be on this roster uh and maybe if he continues to play well maybe they decide to let go of Sergio Alcantara or not have him on the big league roster in favor of Rook Myers and Mazzara you know I know they want that extra infielder so probably not but I don't think that they can leave that chance out right you're not just keeping Myers in triple a if Myers comes back and he's healthy and Mazzara and Ricker are doing good, then why not be open to keeping those three guys on? That would be my thoughts on that. Yeah, you're right, Sky. So you have a lefty-righty split in right field. Brent Rooker, he um, he bats right. Mazzara's a lefty. So you're right on that. Uh, and, and both have power. So... Both strike out some, but Mazar, I feel like Mazar is more of a contact guy than Rooker. So if you want more contact, kind of like Nola and Alfaro, I know both of those guys are righties. But if you want more contact, want to be safe, you put Mazar out there. But based on matchups, if both are playing well, then you're going to go Rooker probably. I don't know the splits off the top of my head, but you know Rooker uh, will go then against lefties and Mazar will hit against righties. So Mazar will probably get the majority of the playing time. Um, but Rooker's going to get a chance here because Will Myers, if it's retroactive to June 1st, then that means that the earliest that he can come off the injured list is next Friday. No, 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 next Saturday, I think, June 11th. That's when they have the double header, and they, in the double header, they can use an extra player on the roster. So maybe that is a convenient time to put him on, put him back see how he feels, and you could still have Mazar and Rooker up, you know. We'll see. And then remember Sunday, Clev's probably going to get activated to start that game, and so Steven Wilson's probably going to be sent down. So those are moves to keep into account as well.